pine forest now and it's pretty dense. Kind of like Ted. <laughs> All right, we're cutting in trails. Today's trail day. We've already done quite a bit. We're over in the pine forest now and it's pretty dense. Kind of like Ted. <laughs> so we're trying to take as few trees as possible. There are some lanes which make it kind of cool. This is going to be uh, both a hiking trail and bicycles and whatever else uh, we feel like tooling around on. We've got a four-wheeler out here with us today as we uh, run the trails in. But, uh, yeah, we're trying to do it without taking too many trees. All right, I'm going to try to push this tree down. Are you going to cut it or are you going to try to push it over? All right. All right. So we're cutting down, trying to be parallel somewhat to our other trail. You can see we get to a spot. And you can push stuff down pretty good. But what you try to eyeball is a lane. So we got a lane is what you're saying? So, do a little reconnaissance. I think it's what we're going to get to. Okay, but so. I think we can come right through here. So, we're coming through here. Yep. Right through here. Get this tree out. Yeah. Because there's the other path right there. I mean, not right there. But yeah, but we're pretty close. Yeah, come through here. It's going to be cool that you don't even know there's another path so yeah. close. Like yes. Yeah, it's right, it's right there. You know. All right. Yeah. And right here, look, there's a nice opening right here. All right. So we're. Yeah, I see that, dude. There's nothing in the way. That's nice. So we're just taking out this one tree. He's dead anyway. Yep. Come right through here. So we'll just try to stay as tight as we can to the right side of this lane. Yep, and then we come through here. Come through here. Now, that's, see, that's where our path is, but that comes from like over there and then goes that way. So we could probably come here and go this way. Right. Right? Yes. So the question is, okay, we just lose this one fruit tree. Exactly. Right here. Oh yeah. I, I see it. I see it. Right through here. You go to the right. Yes. And then we plug, punch in. I mean, punch right in. Just like you said. Look. Right in here. So hold up. Where's the trail? Is it going to go up through the barn and jump out the backside? Awesome. That would be awesome. We could probably get Pastrana to come by if we set that up right. So you're gonna pop out? Okay, like a 10, 12 foot drop off the other bus side. That's nothing yeah. for those guys. Nah, they probably wouldn't come for that. Yeah, seems like it'd be better if we could pop out right here. Pop out right here? And then you're not so close. Even for hiking, you know? Come right through here then. All right, well, let's do uh, reverse engineering. Come right up through here. This comes past the big barn, over into the pine fields. Come right up here. Oh yeah, beautiful, cool. We 
want to do all this. It's already the first week of March. So all the buds on the trees, grass is starting to get green. So in a month, you wouldn't be able to walk through here. All these vines start coming to life, get real strong. All the stickers start growing in. trails probably imagine it's gonna be a couple mile loop if not more That means we got more work to do. All right, guys, we are back out here today. I'll have a probably multi-day, maybe week video for the trail cutting through, but uh, I'll show you guys what we got going this morning. These are gonna be our walking trails and maybe four-wheeler, maybe bicycle, but coming together basically we're going over everything that we we rough cut and then coming through and getting a little more finished before we start punching through some more so it's looking really good i'm always looking around on the ground imagining the kaisers farming this land because all this stuff you see trees was not trees this was all farmland no trees here so amazing that it's woods now but always looking on the ground see if you can find remnants of life but you can see behind me we're uh, trying to pick up all the dead wood and still <laughs> we're still pulling vines you just can't get away from it the vines are everywhere so pick up dead wood pull vines is he here? No. Oh. They are. Let's see what Ted wants. They're here. They? Oh, bees? Oh, that's a swarm, isn't it? How about I put you in the bucket? Oh. And you can get up there and just whack at them with that machete. Can you guys hear that? Man, they are swarming. And that's got to go right. So inside there, the there's stalls. Yep. I wonder if they're, uh, they're probably not honeybees, huh? Our boy Ted here has a tendency towards allergic. <laughs> what do you think, man? 
You think those aren't the allergic kind? <clears throat> they sound pissed. You gonna hold my phone straight. Okay, rock at them. Go ahead. I ain't allergic. <laughs> Got our dumpster here for a swap. How many dumpsters does that make this? The fourth one? We had one by the shed, right? First? One by the, sh the garage first. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. So this makes four. I can't count, that's why I'm asking you. Closer. Tell him to pull it forward flush with the other one. Just leave enough room to get the tractor in here. That's good. Beautiful. Too bad the door swings the other way. Every time we get it backwards. Thank you, sir. Still a little soft right there, but not too shabby. Bye bye, trash. What do you think? Oh man, he messed up the yard. Dude. Hit it better. Dude. <laughs> Look at that soil, man. 
Got some good soil here. Once you get through all the trash. All right. That's success right there. Pretty good call. Sit here on the hill. I guess we still got some clearing to do on the hillside, huh? Before we get that river view. Is this thing gonna break? Dude. What? It's missing some, uh... Alright, let's see. I see why he gave me this one. <laughs> These supports in the middle, they're missing a screw or two. Mm. Um, just don't move. It's not bad. As long as I don't end up with a pole up my butt. Ugh. All right. Mama made me a keto salad. So we can't have a fire. What's the rule? <clears throat> From February 15th till April? 30th. Full month of April. Because it's windy. So fires are more likely to spread. I guess it has been pretty damn windy here lately. What'd you get? Oh, uh, them breadcrumbs ain't keto. Deb was gonna have me she said, I got something for Ted. I was like, oh, cool. I'll put it in the cooler. She said, well, you got to microwave it. I said, what is it? She said, it's soup, vegetable soup with rice. So when you get up in the morning, she said, microwave it, pour it in a thermos, and don't forget to get him a spoon. I said, I ain't doing all that shit. <laughs> I said, I like Ted and all, but five o'clock, I'm lucky if I can get all my stuff. She wanted me microwaving your food and putting it in a thermos. Soup. Soup. <laughs> it's a, honey, thank you. It's very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was. Look at this. Dude, you ever just feel loved? So day 15, keto. <clears throat> we got two salads today. One with chicken. We got some bacon bits and some ranch. This is one of the best things about keto is ranches. A-okay. Oh. Everybody's laughing about keto. Two weeks ago, 2.15. Yesterday, 2.09 and a half. Only uh, exercising one day, riding a mountain bike with this dude. Who tries to kill me. I know what we want to ask Tracy. About any easement for that freaking wire coming across. <coughs> there is. Oh, you found it? Mm hmm In the deed? Somewhere. For low voltage? Somewhere I found it for a cable company. Or maybe that was the electric. <clears throat> no, I think I found it for cable. Aren't they required to maintenance it, even if it's on your property? <clears throat> they, probably, they probably wait for someone to complain. That they don't have cable. That's your cue. <laughs> you tell them, my cable ain't working. They probably are. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. 
think I lost a glove. So what is this is the rough framing. <clears throat> yeah. It'll be harder to push. Probably have more piles. It's hard to make the turns. Get this cleaned up. Get all the little stuff. Yeah, I'll be able to get from here. So maybe this stuff I'll try to drag back. And if I can get it to here, I can get it to there. And I should be able to make that turn. All right, boys and girls. Whew. We are, uh, it's about five o'clock. <clears throat> We've been in it, had it steady. We stopped for lunch, I think at one, and got our dumpster and came up. And we connected the dots from the top road. As you can see behind me, this is the original road that came onto the farm in the 1700s when this homestead was settled. So there was an upper road and there was a lower road down by the river. <clears throat> so this was all grown over. You couldn't even see through there. <clears throat> I think I took some still pictures, but now you come up. So we're gonna have our trail and uh, then we'll have this as a connector trail. So we're actually doing loops up and down through the woods long ways on the property so that'll be hiking and that'll be walked in and we'll drag it look nice in between you're gonna have uh, the connector where you could just go straight across the top or if we get a tree down or something we don't have to come all the way through the woods we can just come right across the top and drop in wherever we need to for uh, trees or maintenance stuff like that so man this is looking really good here I'll let y'all see yeah, so this is looking up to the top corner of our property and we probably go another 40 40 feet beyond that pile there is the edge so where it opens up so again we're leaving a little buffer and then uh, this is the top road I don't know if you guys can tell but there's a ledge, so it comes up the hill, levels off, and then up again. And this was the road as far back as we can, Ted's getting crazy, as far back as we can find maps, it shows the road coming up through here. And then we have ours, this is where we're gonna drop down in, so we're just getting started. So from today, we've come all the way up, all the way up this section, which looks amazing, if I do say so myself. So that goes all the way down to the big barn and then loops around and then we'll come up on this section down here. So we'll come up and then that section where I'm walking right now is just a connector that we won't use for kind of trail per se, although you can walk wherever you want. The path will actually Come up here, but you can see it goes all the way down. That goes straight down to the barn. So when you go down there, you'll loop to the left by the dumpster, come all the way up through the woods, hook, do a U-turn, shoot straight back down, and then we're gonna do another loop and come up. This loop goes all the way down the front of the property that was, uh, that's still our rough frame in there. Look at all these vines. It's crazy that, 
don't know how much longer any of these trees could have lasted. These vines are just ridiculous. Killing our trees, so we're gonna save them. It's a lot of work, but we're gonna do it. So anyway, this path, this goes all the way down to the front corner of the property and then hangs a left and goes over towards the house. And then we uh, have some loops in the woods down there along the creek. The creek feeds the Shenandoah River. So look at this old property post. Look at all those staples. Look at that thing. It's a monster. It's probably just a tree at one time. And they just decided to make that the post. But he's got barbed wire, staples, old boards. It's definitely a property corner. You can see this, these trees are a hedgerow. These are old. And they came right around. Just like this. Came up from the property and you would go out into your fields where the rest of their, uh, I think it was like 500 acres. I'll have to double check. I think, uh, I think when Eddie Strickler came through, he told us that was a 500 acre parcel that his relatives sold. All right, more to do.